Hello dear learner. In this video we will see the potentiometry. What is potentiometry titration? The basic fundamentals of potentiometry, the charge transfer process in potentiometry and the functions we can say basic uses of potentiometry in detail. Now see what is potentiometry basically? So as you all know the potentiometry it's an electrochemical method. As we are doing titration, we are doing normal titration. As we are doing normal titration by using the titrant analyte, okay, adding some indicator and we will get some color change at the end point if it is acid based titration. Okay. So what is potentiometry? So in potentiometry, it's nothing. It's a very simple type of titration but here the method of measurement the method of measurement is different here we are measuring the end point in a very different way okay, we are measuring the potential this is a electrochemical method so it self suggests okay, there is a electrode system here we have a electrode system so an electrode circuit is used we can say electric circuit is used to measure the current here we will going to measure the current and potential created by the flow of charged particles that we will see in a detail how the mechanism or process is working and what is potentiometry exactly so for complete electrochemical cell from which the current is drawn we can say the emf is given by the e cell the EMF is given by the E cell. Here it is made up by the three type of electrodes. We have three type of electrodes. Generally two electrodes we have and one junction we have. So we have a two type of electrodes in a potentiometry. One is the E means electrode. I and D means indicator. Indicator electrode. E R E F means reference electrode. We have indicator electrode, we have reference electrode and the junction. We will see about what is the junction. It's nothing just a salt bridge. There will be two electrodes that we will see by this. Now just see in this diagram. This is the diagram of our potentiometer. Now just see how it is look like. As I said there will be two type of electrode. One is the reference electrode and other one is the indicator electrode. Here we can say there is a silver wire. In indicator electrode there is a silver wire. Okay, and there is a reference electrode. Okay, so this electrodes, this is the construction we have for potentiometer. And this is a bridge. Here we can say it is connected by one bridge. And V means a volt. We can say voltameter. Okay, this is a salt bridge. Okay, between this two we have a salt bridge or here we can measure our potential difference. Now see what is the basic difference between the reference electrode and the indicator electrode. So the reference electrode, whatever reference electrode we have, it is a standard electrode. Means it has 100% potential. Okay, so when we are going to measure any analyte by potentiometer, Okay, we have to take our analyte okay, and we have to add a titrant. So basically what happens, this reference electrode is a standard, means it have a 100% potential. And this indicator electrode, this indicator electrode having a variation in a charge. Because when we add a titrant, whatever potential difference okay there will be obviously a potential difference on a analyte and whatever difference will be there between the reference electrode and potential or indicator electrode that difference will be our end point that will measure we are going to measure that particular difference between the emf of reference electrode and indicator electrode so this is our electrode this is a salt bridge as I said. This is called E-reference, reference electrode. 
this is our porous material here there is a membrane here we have a analyte solution okay so as the process is going on there will be a charge transfer we can see over here there will be a charge transfer means what happen over here whatever the negative charge is there whatever the negative charge is there will move left to the salt bridge okay it will move left to this bridge like this and whatever positive charge we have it will move towards this bridge okay it will move towards the bridge so ultimately we will get a transfer of electrons and potential difference and we will get our emf as a voltage this equipment required for a direct potentiometric measurement Now there will be two type of measurement. One is the direct method, other one is the indirect method. That we will see in detail. Now first we will see the direct measurement method. So in this method we have ion selective electrode, a reference electrode, and potential measuring device. So what is the ion selective electrode? The first is ion selective electrode. Our ion selective electrode. is we can say indicator electrode it's a indicator electrode means here there is a measurement of some ions okay here there is a measurement of the ions so what is the main role of ion selective electrode or we can say the indicator electrode it will be measuring the activity of ionic species and obviously it consisting of the ion conducting material and what happen as the concentration changes okay as the temperature changes this potential whatever potential is there on this electrode it will get change okay it will get change but here we have another electrode and it is a reference electrode here whatever potential is there it will never be changed it's a independent on concentration or temperature and third we have a potential measuring device so here we get our potential okay our final potential as a end point now this electrode in which we have a reference electrode and indicator electrode having a different type of reference and elect indicator electrode but that we will see in a detail in a next video now we will see how there will be a charge transfer okay so first we will see the basic potentiometric method as i said there will be two type of measurement direct measurement and indirect measurement so first we will see what is direct measurement now in direct measurement we can say directly there will be a measurement of electron potential okay from which the activity of active ion may be derived and in indirect measurement okay in indirect measurement in indirect measurement okay it involves we can say the measurement of a difference as we have seen our measurement as a difference of potential okay by addition of the titrant okay to measure the analyte this method is known as indirect measurement now we will understand the charge transfer process by one example say for example this is a zinc electrode this is a voltmeter or we can say potentiometer as i said here there is a salt bridge this is our salt bridge okay so in one beaker we have a solution of zinc sulfate in another beaker we have a solution of copper sulfate now this copper will act as a cathode and zinc will act as a anode okay so what happen how there will be a charge transfer so what happen over here first there will be a moment of electrons from zinc electrode to copper electrode okay there will be moment like this from zinc to the copper electrode now in this solution of zinc okay in this solution what happen the zinc ion will go away from the electrode 
okay zinc ion will go away from the electrode and the sulfur ions will come towards the electrode so what happen ultimately our positive ions moves towards the salt bridge and our negative ions okay our negative ions moves towards the left side okay moves towards the left side whatever positive ion we have it will move towards the right side of the bridge okay it will move towards the right side of the bridge and negative ions will move towards the left side here there will be a okay negative and positive ion there will be like this there will be a charge of the electron so what happened on the surface of electrodes we have electrons we have electron transfer of the ion so what happened ultimately over here the zinc will be dissolved and metallic copper deposited okay metallic copper will be deposited now we will see a basic functions of potentiometer means what are the basic use of potentiometer so as it is very clear i hope you have understood so as it is very clear from, from the mechanism and the diagram and how it is work okay what is our first application it is used to measure the electric potential or we can say the voltage okay we can measure the electric potential or we can analyze our analyte then what are the other applications so just see over here by rotating the potentiometer wheel what we can measure okay we can change the voltage applied to the resistor and where we can apply this so it is used in more or less light coming out from the led means we can connect our led with this potentiometer wheel and how we are moving it it will decide which type of light we will get more or less then we can use it to control the electrical devices such as volume control on audio equipment means what by using this potentiometer we can control the volume and the last application we can see it in the resistant depending upon the flow sometimes we can use it to vary the resistance so dear learners these are the basic functions of potentiometer in the next video we will see in the next video we will see the basic type of potentiometric titration and the type of electrode that are type of indicator electrode and reference electrode in detail